immigration. What a joke. I mean, when you think that we have the strongest military in the world, the best technology in the world, the smartest people in the world, the hardest working people in the world, and then you have our borders which have been wide open for years now, going back to the 80s, with, with people that are bringing God knows what into this country. Weapons, probably nuclear weapons, biological weapons, guns, drugs, diseases, all of these things that are coming into this country, and our federal government has a responsibility to stop it, but they do not stop it. And the right winger is just pissed as can be. And I don't blame it on the Democrats or the Republicans. I blame it on them all, okay? It's not one or the other. It's all of them have done it, okay? When Bush was president, I was part of a movement, a conservative movement, that put a lot of pressure on Bush to do something about the border, to secure the border. Bush wouldn't do a damn thing about the border. Even after 9-11, he didn't do anything about it. And I know he had other things going on, but you would think, with fighting wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, you would think securing our border during a time of war would be really, really, really critical. But for some reason, well, not some reason, we know the reason, money. See, the Republicans like the cheap labor, the Democrats like the votes. See, they get the votes from the, the mostly Mexican population that comes here. And the Republicans and, you know, the big businesses, they get to use the labor, okay? So it's a combination. So the, both parties are wrong. Bush didn't do a damn thing about it because he was in bed with the business. The Democrats didn't say a word because they knew that they would get all these Mexican votes at the end of the day. And so the problem remains unresolved. Now Obama's in power. He's refusing to secure the borders. But look at what it's doing to our country, okay? It's crippling the states that are on the borders, like New Mexico, Texas... Arizona, California have been crippled, crippled by illegal immigration. Crippled. But unfortunately, California is such a liberal state, they'll never say a word about it. They'll blame it on everything else. Why are we going broke? Well, billions of dollars on jails, billions of dollars are going to schools, billions of dollars going to hospitals to support this flux of illegal immigration. And don't get me wrong, I have nothing against the Mexican people. I like the Mexican people. I don't have a problem with them. I have a problem with our government. Okay, it's not. I don't blame these Mexican people for coming here. Heck, if I was in Mexico and I was poor and I didn't see any way out, and there was a, a open pathway to come to America, and it was, I mean, it's not that easy for them to do it. I mean, they do have to risk their life and give away everything they own and come here with basically a shirt on their back. And if they're young, good-looking girl, they probably get raped trying to come here. Okay, but they come here obviously because they want a better life. And I do have compassion for them. And I don't want to kick them all out either, okay? That's something we have to deal with. But as a modern-day, common-sense conservative, I know that the borders must be secure before we can deal with what to do with the 12 million illegal immigrants that are already here. Obviously, if we make an announcement today that we're going to give them amnesty, there's going to be about 5 million more coming here overnight, okay? So what we need to do... We need to quietly bring about 20,000 of our troops, National Guard or troops, down to the border over the next couple of weeks, secure that border, we bring in drones, we've got 1,800 miles of border to cover, we can cover it with drones, electronic fences, and then men on the ground, and secure that border for a few months. Once we do that, the word will get back to Mexico that that border is secure. As a result of that, the people in Mexico will stop attempting to even come here. They will stop because they will know it's a waste of time. Once we stop the flow of immigrants and secure the border, then we can sit down and figure out what to do with the 10 to 15 million illegals that are here now. I think that's a compassionate way to deal with it. I don't think we need to kick them all out or round them up in the middle of the night. I think that's a terrible idea. I think we need to accommodate them and find a way to let them stay here, to tell you the truth. But I only think we need to do that after we secure the borders. That's what I have to say about it. Thank you for watching. There's more on immigration on my sites. Please check it.